Gamers, the next generation of Nintendo consoles is on the horizon and things are about to get interesting. The Nintendo Switch 2 is rumored to take some bold risks that could shake up the gaming landscape, potentially even challenging the PS5 strategy. But how and why could Nintendo be setting itself up for such a bold move? First, let's talk about the tech. The Nintendo Switch 2 is rumored to feature a custom NVIDIA processor, making it more powerful than its predecessor, although it may still lag behind the PS5 in raw power. However, the console could leverage DLSS Deep Learning Super Sampling technology, allowing for PS5-level visuals without needing the same processing power. Imagine playing your favorite Nintendo games with near PS5 fidelity while still enjoying the flexibility of a handheld. Sounds like magic, right? But that's the Nintendo Edge, they always innovate differently. Here's where things get risky. Rumors suggest that Nintendo might launch the Switch 2 without a clear blockbuster launch title, unlike the PS5, which had titles like Demon's Souls and Spider-Man, Miles Morales driving early sales. Nintendo might be banking on the success of their legacy franchises like Zelda, Breath of the Wild, which was demoed on Switch 2 hardware at Gamescom 2023. But does re-releasing older games make sense when everyone is expecting the next Mario Odyssey or Mario Kart? Nintendo is reportedly relying on backward compatibility, allowing gamers to continue playing their favorite Switch titles on the new console. This could be key in swaying current Switch owners, especially if the console features improved performance for existing games. Combine that with DLSS technology to upscale visuals, and you've got a potential winner if Nintendo can convince players to invest without a killer launch title. So, how does this all tie back to Sony? The PS5's launch strategy centered around exclusive titles and raw power, but Nintendo seems to be playing a different game. By focusing on affordability, portability, and backward compatibility, Nintendo could be using its strengths to outmaneuver Sony in a different way, offering what the PS5 doesn't, seamless portability and an enormous library from day one. Could the Nintendo Switch 2 really steal Sony's thunder? While it won't be a direct competitor in terms of raw power, Nintendo's clever use of DLSS, backward compatibility, and its hybrid design could make it a sleeper hit especially for gamers who value flexibility. So, is this risky move a stroke of genius, or could it backfire without a massive launch title to carry the system? Time will tell, but one thing's for sure, Nintendo is betting big, 